Slack attack. Well, yeah, hey, thanks for joining me again. All right, let's walk through some more Dying Light. And um, I got a skill point to spend. Let's spend that right now. Let's spend it on this one here, Craftsman. Damage bonus gained when using crafted weapons is increased by 25%. That's kind of poorly explained, but anyway, so I basically believe it means um, when you craft a weapon or when you apply a blueprint, the damage bonus is 25% bigger, right? Okay, so let's get that for sure. Definitely want that. And next we're going to get this specialist. The chance of a critical element elemental hit is increased by 100%. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun stuff. So that's what's coming out next. Next, um, let's see what they got for sale. Boya. Oh, yeah. I want that. Yeah. Military machete with some wicked damage. Going to mod that sucker up. 277 damage. Pretty good handling too. Okay, so um I believe that uh, all my legendary blueprints require a part, yeah, electronics, electronics, yeah, yeah, they all require electronics, and I don't have any electronics, like, I don't believe this, this is, I'm actually short on parts. Okay, so, what can we sell? What else can we sell? Uh, nothing, so that's it, we're done here. You know what I want to do? I want to hit up the quartermaster and turn in all these uh, disaster relief packages that I've been collecting and get a whole bunch of uh, survivor XP. But before we do that, before we do that, it is getting late in the evening, so let's sleep till morning. This is going to be the legless spider slash. What's the name of that mission? Do you believe mission? Run. <laughs> yeah, legless spider. We're gonna do this. The second part of that, and then we're gonna do this. Okay, together. One of them is gonna take about 20 minutes. The other one's gonna take about 10. So mix them together, and then I'll make two videos, two 15-minute videos. That's the plan. Let's do it. First of all, I want to hit up the university. <laughs> like I said, turn in all these um, disaster relief packages off with your legs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What was up with that game? Here we go. And yeah, we got a zip line here. This takes us nicely over to the university. Up we go. Do this? Did you fall off? <laughs> okay. Never catch me falling off. <laughs> and we're here. All the way down to the end. Hey, Spike. Give up that S X P S five X P thirteen thousand, yeah. And you got some goodies for me. Let's go offload the junk. Namely this slaughterhouse cleaver. And see what you got for sale. An iron hatchet coming in at two sixty three that's bound to have a short range, so forget that, forget that. We already got a rifle. Yeah, so it doesn't look like he has anything I really want. Except stuff that we're out leveled. Or that out levels us. I will take this gauze aerosol blade and tin can off your hands. And household supplies. And the duct tape. Why not? There we go. That's that. Let's get on down to. Whoops, I went the wrong way. Let's get on down to see David. David is right there. And he's under siege. So approach carefully. And I 
I need some electronics, and electronics are typically found in these things here, these toolkits. So I gotta start searching all toolkits. Toolkits and locked containers. Here's the locked container. Oh yeah. Come on, give it to me, game. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. A climber pick. Huh. Okay. And there's a zip line over there, I believe. So let's go flying on over there. Yeah, buddy. What? Okay. Yeah, that's, I was saying that in the comments the other day. I think it was Robert Prather who was saying, "You're getting better at uh, grapple hooking," and I, d I was saying, "Yeah, I always grapple hook with a safety net. You know, like you, if you're gonna grapple hook, grab don't grapple hook there." grapple hook up there. That way if you fall off, you fall down onto the ledge. You see what I mean? So I always grapple hook with a safety net. <laughs> Basically, plan on failing. <laughs> and you'll do fine. Okay, now we want to approach this area carefully. David is over there and there's also... Um, a traitor right there. Let's go to him first. This is a nice. Uh, we can sneak up on this guy and do a takedown. Yeah, who's your daddy? <laughs> okay. Get to David in a minute. Just drop down here. Sell that. Sell the valuables. What do you got for sale? Ottoman, sickle, hunter's machete. A merciless baseball bat. I'd buy that just for the name, I swear. <laughs> That's good to good damage too. Yeah. Um, this looks sweet too. Yeah, I can't wait to those get on my that'd be great. Okay, so let's avail ourselves of some more parts here. We got the money. Make sure we don't run out of other parts. That's that. Okay, so seeing the funny papers they do, I may be back soon with a whole bunch of rifles. Not maybe, as in I will be. Okay, so David is over there. A whole bunch of bad guys carrying firearms. So get out your gun and gun them down. And you can use the roof here for cover. Because there's always a guy there. There he is. Great cover here. Good. Oh, wait, 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 we got something happening here. Peekaboo. Come on, buddy. Peekaboo. Oh, boy. Yeah. This is a good bad guy. Uh huh. Someone's trying to help him. Kill him. Yeah. I don't think so. Hey, calm down there, David. I want to just want to make sure this guy is dead. He's not actually. <laughs> yeah. There we go. He was just having a shocking experience. Oh, okay, here we go. Is there any more outside? Or is that it? Thanks. You're welcome. I owe you. You do. So, what else is up? Who are you? Crane, Spider sent me. Why? What's happened to him? He ran into Rice's people, but he'll be alright. Like, I brought the things he was collecting for you. You're a lifesaver. Thanks, Crane. This is really going to make a difference. So, tell me what this is all about. Oh, I thought you knew. Well, I know it involves the source of the epidemic. Yes, the meteorite. I know where it landed. You think the epidemic came from space? What do you think? Aran gets hit by a meteor, a bunch of guys in hazmat suits show up, and two days later, people start jumping on each other. You think that's a coincidence? You have some proof of this? I did. Rice's men just took off with my last samples. I was going to send Spider out for some more. Could you do it? Oops, okay, I'm back. Yeah, yeah, uh, we have a new objective. Find five meteorite samples. 
This can be a pain in the arse if you don't know what you're doing. But I'm going to show you how to do it real easy, okay? First of all, let's collect all the weaponry here. We're good. Yeah, hey, hey, put about it. Fuck. Damn it. Hate that shit. Oh, there's another one. Forgot about that guy. Should be looting these guys too. <laughs> give up your union dues, and you give up your union dues. Rung and I should be guy in here somewhere. Or did Davey carry him out? <laughs> okay. Uh, that's enough looting. All you guys go, you go, and we're done. <laughs> Alright, now we have to go collect five <laughs> meteorites. By the way, this mission, you may have noticed that it rewards with a anti-gadoid gun. And you may be wondering, wow, that's got a, a weird name. That must be some kind of like real kick-ass gun. I can't wait to get that. Okay, I'll tell you straight up, this is a sucker play, okay? It's a complete sucker play. The game is playing a practical joke on you, okay? This game, I mean this gun, rather, is worthless. Absolutely worthless, okay? So we're doing this mission strictly for the 15,000 Survivor XP. This is worthless. It's just a joke. It's just a practical joke. If you know of a good use, a good strategic use for the anti-gadoid gun, post a comment. Because uh, I've googled all over the place and all I have come up with is um, somebody said that they've successfully used it to scare away Rises men if they're not armed. <laughs> Which is like, you know, how many times does that happen? Whoops, that took a little damage there. Yeah. But other than that, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't kill zombies. It doesn't do anything. Alright, so um, we're going there. We have to collect five meteorites. I'll tell you all about that. Let me get there. Uh, yep. And there's a zip line right there. Let's go take that. There's the zip line. I'm basically just going to rapidly tap the jump button after I jump down. Okay, up. It's a good thing that the jump button doesn't disengage him from the zip line. So this is the same one I did before where I screwed up and got, I've gotten better at this now. Okay. Same thing, jump and grab. And this will take us all the way right, across the, the side, area. I don't see anything. Alright, listen. Your shards react to green light that makes them easier to spot. The Azmat guys put up some lamps and a generator. It should still be working. Okay, so that's where we are. The idea is the generator is right in the center of this circle, okay? The idea is you go kick in the generator and it'll make the meteorite samples easier to see. You don't need to use the generator, alright? The generator makes a lot of noise and it attracts a whole slew of virals. You want to do that? Didn't think so. All right. I know exactly where all the meteorites are, and you can see them with the naked eye. You don't need the generator hooked up, okay? Look for the cars. The cars over there. Then there's they're just there's one just west of the cars on the rocky cliff, right here. See, right there. Meteorite. Showing the map where that is. Okay. That's number one. You have to get five. There's also a lot of shrooms around here too. And it's lightly populated with enemies. There's a few uh, rocket men around here and there. But as long as you don't turn on the generator, you're gonna be fine. Number two, let's go let's go to the generator, show you what it looks like there.
There's the generator, right? I don't think so. Wanna go for a swim? Huh? There we go. <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> nice one! Yeah, so if you want to see the meteorites easier, this is what you do. You turn on that generator like as it makes a lot of noise. So we got one. The second one. Go to the generator. Go due north, alright? Due north. And you can see it right there. Right up there. Got two. The third one is in this little tiny pool over here. Okay? Meteorite. That's number three. The fourth one is like in the north east well part of the circle. Okay, it's right around there. And it's also on the the rocky cliff face. Grab some herbs here, we could use those. Look up. And she, you can see it with the survivor sense. Okay, I'm way off. I should be over there. There it is, right there. Okay. Okay, okay so we got four out of five. The fifth one is in the water. It's the hardest one to find. It's right around here. Okay, south by southwest. Close to the perimeter, but not quite at the perimeter. Okay, so we gotta go swim in. And you can use your survivor stance. Let's just turn out the waypoint. Should be somewhere around here. There it is, right there. There you go. So that's how you get all the meteorites without having to turn on the generator. Of course, if you want a little fun, you know, <laughs> turn on the generator. And uh, prepare for a lot of fisticuffs at close range with a motley crew of virals and rocket men and all kinds of other fun characters that you typically find in this game. Okay, so picking the shrooms here, boss. Cop had some alcohol on him. <laughs> Figures. Oh, oh. Now, before you take off, I want to go up above, up there, and harvest some common herbs because there's a common herb field up there. finicky as to how you can grapple onto rocks. <laughs> I think that might work. There we go. Okay. So we got some action here. Two, three. Get some!